Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us today here. We're happy to present you with another webinar organized by Lonmark International. Today, we're really happy to have Jean-Pierre Ferrand here. He's an electronic and software engineer and is currently managing the uh, business development at uh, BZ Links. Uh, Jean-Pierre has been on, at the forefront of um, international smart street lighting markets in the last 15 years and has been dealing with um, global cities and major industrial players to unlock smart street lights and smart city control markets. So Jean-Pierre today will give us an overview of the open multi supplier central management software that can optimize the smart street lighting and uh, we're really happy to uh, have him here on board. Quick uh, housekeeping the slides as well as the recording of the webinar will be posted on our website um, very quickly after the webinar is over probably within a day or two so you can find it there if you have questions please use the questions box uh, there should be a tab in your uh, go to webinar tool to submit the questions and we will uh, address them after the webinar so with that, um, I'll pass it on to um, Jean-Pierre. And let me just make sure I am on mute. Jean-Pierre, take it away. All right, thank you very much uh, for this uh, introduction. Hello, uh, everyone. Uh, so happy to be here today. And, uh, and thank you for, for attending this, attending this, this uh, webinar. Um, a brief introduction, uh, maybe to start with about <coughs> BusyLinks and uh, the company. So uh, we are a, a French com company, a uh, uh, member of, of, of Lonmar, obviously, and uh, uh, we are uh, focusing and uh, on the development of, of, of software and monitoring platform. Uh, I will tell you will detail uh, that in 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 a minute. So we. We focus only on the on the monitoring platform, uh, not doing any any hardware. So obviously, our goal is to be able to uh, to combine our platform with uh, with many different uh, uh, hardware and equipments and in different fields and verticals for the smart city. Uh, even if uh, we have a background and. Uh, We've been in that uh, smart lighting uh, business uh, and smart business, as mentioned, doing uh, since a couple of years now. Uh, and so we we uh, uh, beyond that, uh, just a smart lighting uh, uh, um, verticals. We are we are working obviously more and more and uh, with cities and and uh, clients and contractors that uh, would link to to include other types of, of uh, assets within a, a smart city approach uh, even if uh, the the main still i would say uh, from what we see uh, in, in our business uh, the business the main vertical currently for for smart city is is still mostly smart lighting so m most of the project are are coming uh, from that uh, from that vertical i would say start with this vertical um all right so um um the, um i would say oh can i go to the next slide here okay right um actually i i put my feet here in a in a, in a position of of of, of someone as a, um, in a city or as a client and uh, <clears throat> And uh, willing to 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 deploy and to to think about uh, uh, such a smart lighting slash uh, smart city projects, um, and uh, the, the, there are a couple of questions uh, and uh, that have to those people and uh, which are legitimate, I would say, uh, because today on 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 this market and uh, there are more and more players, obviously, which which is good because this means mean that this market is more and more mature. Um, there are plenty of players, plenty of technologies, more and more as well, and uh, manufacturers and uh, and uh, and software uh, companies. So. Um, even if obviously the market is more mature uh it means that it might be even more difficult for 
a client to, to choose between those different uh, solutions and, and players and to make sure that uh, somehow uh, within, uh, I mean, it, it makes the, the good choice for the good partners, knowing that uh, this market and, uh, and smart city project and smart lighting project, uh, we think about rather mid and rather long term projects, 10 to 15 years project, uh, which is a bit different from <clears throat> A project uh, in uh, uh, in a building, uh, a small building, or in the in industry in in uh, industrial project where um, you you can deploy a project and uh, and uh, but they are all constraints within a, a kind of small geographical area, and uh, you could say okay, bet on one or two, three players, and uh, maybe uh, if uh, if it doesn't work that well in in three next three five years i might switch and and complete the restart or or work with all other guys and uh, and restart the project it's 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 more difficult in, in smart city smart IT project uh you uh to take the risk to go with a single technology and a single uh, uh manufacturer so those are, are some of the questions obviously there are, there are plenty of other questions and type of questions that uh, those people and, and project manager are raising kind of communications uh, and technology and, and protocol um, and uh, if obviously i want in a small lighting project to combine different manufacturers like i have different uh, uh, street light luminaire um, how could i integrate and how could they, they work together uh, uh, for me to handle and to configure and to work with those different solutions on a day-to-day -day, uh, day -day basis, um, how will it will it work? Uh, shall I go on premise or a cloud uh, in in a cloud SaaS mode, etc. etc. I, I assume you you see what I mean, and there are plenty of those questions. So um, actually, I, I we try here to to to. And, and based as well on our experience and uh, fr from from this market, those projects and uh, the, the partners, to kind of summarize what we we see and how we try to uh, fit in within that market uh, to uh, to address the the, the 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 this 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 market and and, and those projects in more in long term basis, and so like the the client the contractors, I mean every players in the uh and, and and stakeholders i mean the, are 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 happy uh within a long-term strategy so starting maybe from from the bottom of the, of this page um and i will probably more focus initially here on the smart lighting project on the smart lighting assets because as mentioned usually this is where it starts in some sort of projects and then we see how to in, integrate interface as afterwards with other um verticals and applications and the type of assets but um, talking more at the beginning of uh, about the the, the street lights um the good thing is that as mentioned and as we we know i mean market this market is more and more mature meaning that there were, there were in the past a lot of more i would say even mechanical constraints uh <clears throat> talking about uh how to integrate a, a controller a node to control those those luminaires um this was a big issue uh, a couple of years ago and not that long ago things are obviously uh getting more standardized uh thanks to uh, protocols that are quite old i would say now uh, like dali and uh, there's there's, there's uh, no more questions i mean dali is probably the, the interface now that between the controller and and the that the, the the driver sorry uh, uh or and the, the controller and uh, and then now there is DALI2 or, or D4I type of interface uh, combined as well to the mechanical interface uh, like like uh, NIMA uh, in more the, uh, the, the Asia and uh, and then and US and part of, of Europe and uh, we see now uh, Zaga mostly still uh, I think in Europe. It, that is getting more and more popular and, and thanks to that as well it, it somehow it eases integrations and it goes uh, as well beyond just this mechanical, mechanical integrations because this kind of interface as well are defining the connections with 
other sensors that will be um, uh, combined and, and linked uh, to those luminaires. So once again, it eases this, uh, the, the, the integration at the luminaire, uh, at the luminaire level at least. And then, <clears throat> Then there are options and plenty of options uh, that we know for then what type of, of field communication network, how do I connect those kind of, of assets to uh, upper level and, uh, and to more, more the CMS level that we uh, address on our site at Visilinx. Um, and obviously, uh, there is there is the, the, some standard as as we know, and the good good thing is that uh, there, are, there is the long works protocol, and, uh, and, and and thanks to the long, uh, there were a lot uh, done in the in the in the past years, and and, and it continues, and so that we can uh, thanks to this protocol mix and, and match uh, different um, uh, assets, different manufacturers, uh, and all of them combine on the same communication network and, 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 and linked to a, a gateway uh, with a PLC system and, and actually now with, with, with RF as well. Um, so that was a, a big move, I would say, and it'll uh, help and it will help the, still the, this market a lot. And this is what obviously uh, people are, are, looking, are looking for. Um, uh, and not not just uh, communications. Uh, uh, I mean, low level uh, uh, communications protocol, but as well how to define uh, variables. Uh, and when talking about luminaire, I want to control luminaire. Uh, what type of failures do I, I get from this uh, luminaire controller? Uh, thanks to that, it's uh, all the, the typically the long words, obviously. Uh, uh, manufacturers uh, that have such a controllers uh, are defining uh, this kind of variable the same way. So easy is as well a lot of the work for the for the players above and all the software manufacturers to deal and to combine those different kind of assets and and, and solutions from different manufacturers. Um, uh, and the thing is that we we. Are, as well, seen our other technologies, we know that there are a couple of, of uh, mostly RF other technologies now. Uh, so it's not one technology fits all, obviously. So we, what we see, and this is typically an example of architecture that what we see in current projects. Uh, <clears throat> we have uh, other uh, RF technologies, and and uh, we uh, we have to to deal with them and to combine them so that. Uh, and to ease as well integration so that at the upper level at the at the CMS level we 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 have a common way to uh, communicate and configure and control the assets that are using the, these those different uh, protocols. So um, I mean the the, the field gateways of the we represent the middleware as it, uh, is a uh, is typically the the the, the frontier or the, that we have between what we call no more the field uh, field solutions and um, that we communicate with either through field gateways and uh, physical hardware hardware like a smart server or this kind of, of, of hardware or it could be a a, a middleware uh, network management management server uh, <clears throat> when we we need to combine and to talk with uh, with more RF or either RF solutions uh, uh, managed by, by by telcos and 3G, 4G, and BIoT, etc., or, or or private networks with uh, either mesh or or, or uh, LoRa type of, of networks. Um, the 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 thing that we push obviously on on our side, I, I think that this is what market is trying as well to achieve. At, at least the clients and the, the contractors that, that have to to deal with those different technologies is to push for standardizations and we all go that way. And uh, and, and obviously within the long mark group, this is the essence and somehow of, 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 uh, uh, of this group is to push for some standardizations. So, we, so there are now, it's much more easy as well to interface those field gateways and those, those network managers management server through a REST API uh, with uh, MQTT or uh, JSON, etc. Uh, there are <clears throat> some more, 
uh, all the players and standardizations group as well uh, that help this uh, this uh, uh, this move and to, to go to go this way um, and, and uh, obviously we try to avoid now uh, any proprietary uh, protocols and uh, we, we know that for, for sure so we push every every players and new new players coming in the in the done market to to push them towards uh, typically a uh, long words or any st standardization uh, body that uh, that uh, that helps a, a, the, the the market bottom line right so on, on our side so what we focus on at, at Bizlinks is the is the the cms and the, the, the monitoring and control applications that you see in orange in in the middle here here so on one end we we communicate with uh, all those field and solution and our goal is to is to uh, to uh, to ease uh, the the uh, and to uh, the the usage of and uh, uh, of uh, all those uh, field solutions whatever it, it is uh, for for technology and for for manufacturers uh, that's really what typically a city is willing to 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 have to control all those all the street light assets for example and and uh, on top of our platforms we 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 just one piece of the puzzle and i think that this is as well uh, the message that is uh, now be, being quite clear on the market difficult to, to for a single player <coughs> to um to do everything to to do hardware to do software and to even with with just focusing on software to to develop all the the parts of of, of the architecture and, and piece of the puzzle so more and more and this is what we uh, we're really pushing uh, pushing for as well is is to ease integrations between i mean what we focus on i mean our, our, our cms and other applications applications that uh, that uh, some clients might have and do have uh, often it could be uh, inventory platforms <clears throat> that they do have not only obviously for smart lighting but a lot for a lot of different assets they have in the city so they don't want to to change their the solution so we are so we do have to uh, to uh, to interact with those platforms and uh, it could be a, a management field management uh, uh, software platforms uh, with mobile tool etc that the people are using and contractor are using already uh, and all the type of 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 smart i would say city platforms dedicated more for some specific verticals uh, and uh, once again we probably won't address the all uh, verticals ourselves uh, we're strong in obviously uh, in smart lighting and uh, and sensors typically that will use the smart lighting uh, uh, architecture and, and canopy but for sure there are there are other uh, verticals in the city that uh, that we won't address uh, uh, because people are, are are doing that very in a very nice way. The idea is there to more to interact with those platforms because even if we don't manage those assets, we can pass some of those informations coming from the feed from the what the, the street lights and vice versa and uh, and share those informations with other platforms. And this is actually what makes sense as well. And we what adds a lot of value for smart city project is to is to develop new uh, business case new use cases and uh, combining uh, different type of inform informations shared by different sensor sensors from different silos verticals in the in the city and we, and, and and using those and sharing those informations we we see a lot of value and to to uh, to to create new value for for and uh, for uh, uh, for for cities and, and and contractors typically. So um, so as well here there are quite uh, high level I would say uh, protocols and uh, and things are getting standardized as well. There are there are bodies that are I, we mentioned here fireware for example. This is one example, but. Uh, integrations between those different pieces of the puzzle is getting more and more easy at the high level uh, uh, at the high level so uh, which 
uh, which brings um, even more value to uh, to uh, now to to the assets connected on the on the ground because some some informations uh, and uh, with from sensors connected to street lights so far were were just used for uh, dynamic lighting con uh, controls, for example, and and that's it. But in fact, those sort of sensors that maybe might be able at least to detect. Uh, people's uh, bicycles, vehicles, they might be able to count those vehicles to, uh, to even to have a, an idea, even if, even if not very precise, but uh, about the velocity, the, the speed of, of, of cars, et cetera, et cetera. And those, those, those informations are very uh, valuable and uh, could be used by other guys, other teams within, within cities uh, that, uh, that are not, uh, that are not part of the of the smart lighting uh, uh, department, for example, and then it could be that even some some smart smart lighting uh, projects uh, could be partly financed by other departments because uh, yeah they, they, they will provide uh, uh, the street lights uh, some uh, valuable information that could be used by other bodies. So we see a lot of on, uh, of, of, of uh, potentials and uh, sharing informations between between bodies and and uh, and uh, departments within within cities um okay um <clears throat> so a few examples as well to to be more uh, 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 clear and to uh, uh and uh, precise i mean we we do have integration with with uh, obviously uh, some landmark uh, players here you see uh, some of some of them so this is real real and we have ongoing project with where we we are uh, obviously and effectively mixing um, different solutions uh, and uh, uh, some of them obviously uh, through through non works and and and, and uh, and which is uh, working fine, and uh, and and as well some with some other technologies, and uh, and and uh, and which is which is great. Um, so this is the, the the same. I mean, I'm I'm mentioning here mostly more the, the smart lighting uh, players and partners and solutions that uh, we we do use. Some of those uh, those, uh, those those members and uh, companies obviously do have as well other type of equipments. Uh, uh, it would be a bit too long to uh, to, to detail and to, to talk about all different other verticals and and uh, and but this is this is the main principle the the the, the, the same principle actually in terms of openness and uh, what we uh, we we saw for smart lighting architecture uh, yeah, is uh, is a, is a bit the same when we are addressing the the other type of verticals. <clears throat> um okay so on, on then what we provide on, on our side so w once we are able to gather data and and in a uniform uh, uniformized uh, way uh, <clears throat> uh, then for, for the user the idea is to is to have value with with the, those data and then first for him to be able to uh, <clears throat> to to, uh, uh, to configure uh, all those assets and uh, tipping and, and and probably the 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 street light asset is the one of the most even the most complicated asset in terms of configurations and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, data that i can retrieve get from those from from those assets compared to to other type of of uh, of assets in the smart city project, so the challenge is quite high in terms of when we want to to when you want to configure and to define schedulers and etc. Uh, for your street lights uh, in globally within the city and with with different uh, uh, different players, different manufacturers, different technologies. So this is I think what we are we are we are we are. We are addressing in a good way uh, this uh, <clears throat> uh, this part, and then obviously we we uh, we bring added value and uh, uh, trying to 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 obviously to to address use cases and and uh, some pains that have the, the, the cities in terms of uh, efficiency, energy efficiency, maintenance efficiency, 
um, and uh, yeah, to to be able to um, to um, to extract and the data in a, in, in a good way. The, the difficulty and the danger with the smart smart lighting slash smart city project, and uh, the, this is the feedback and uh, we we have and uh, uh, thanks to the the project in the in the couple since the uh, last year is that. Um, there are plenty of more and more data, obviously, available from the field, uh, and not just anymore from from the the the, the, the street lights and the control the, the street light controller, but other other uh, uh, sensors uh, is to be able to to focus on what makes sense for information for for the end user, um, and not to uh, to 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 propose and to display and to to uh to have too much information because otherwise in that that is the, the the solutions the platforms won't be, be used uh and this uh, the, the, this project won't be a success obviously so um and we therefore we we need to uh, to know well i mean the uh, each verticals and typically that's that's what we do uh, when we are expert in uh, somehow in the for the for the smart lighting uh, business uh, and uh, and vertical um, and uh, therefore uh, and uh, there are there are other verticals uh, that as well are quite complex uh, for parking management etc so we we probably won't be uh, that specialized for all the verticals um and uh, so we prefer probably to 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 discuss to share information with these other platforms uh and and focus and and add and bring uh, added value and and um, and services for for those uh, uh for the smart lighting uh smart lighting virtual <clears throat> okay just um to uh uh to to show some 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 use cases and, and typically kind of project that that we address and uh, to be more more real as well uh this is a one example here of of, of project uh, in the in brussels uh, brussel region to to be a more more precise which is 19 uh, uh, cities and commune and commune in, in the brussel area so uh <clears throat> it's currently being being deployed there are uh, first, first stage is to to have a eighty-five thousand luminaire um, integrated uh, in the and uh, they've they've chosen the the CityLink's uh, CMS platform. It was a big challenge for for this project because it, this is exactly that uh, this, uh, what we've seen previously the kind the kind of architecture that that this utility to uh, Sibelga for the for Brussels. Um, uh, was willing to have is uh, to have at least uh, three different manufacturers and and uh, in fact currently there are at least four different solutions that will be <coughs> deployed in phase one and uh, even then mixing uh, uh, different uh, different uh, field communications uh, protocols and, uh, and, and, so, and solutions so um, th this was the, the challenge but uh, uh, we uh, we managed it, I think. Uh, so um, and uh, and so it proves that this market is mature now to to address such a kind of of requirements <clears throat> and to, to within a, a, a long long term strategy. Because obviously, first first phase is to have uh, uh, to to focus on the smart smart lighting. An intelligent lighting, as they call, uh, as, as they name it. Uh, but there are, are obviously um, other phases with other uh, uh, assets and control assets in the city that will be connected to that uh, initial platform in the next years. Um, there was uh, as well the, the challenge. I was mentioning that about the. The, the 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 fact that uh, we are a piece of the puzzle and for with this project even if there are all the there are already a, a lot of uh, different uh, manufacturers and ourselves as a CMS provider uh, there is there is a contractor I mean NG is uh, the contractor on this on this project uh, that have some 
platforms. I mean, part of the of the platform is is, is from these contractors. So we have to combine, and this is a combined platform with a software platform with those guys, and as well the the contractor itself. Uh, the utility, uh, Sibelga, uh, they do have uh, asset management system and uh, ERP systems and management uh, inventory platforms, etc. So it's all those different pieces are, are linked together with uh, with uh, open APIs and um, and yeah, this is a really an open architecture, very interesting um, um, project. Um, Another type of, of more, uh, I would say, I would say advanced or uh, a project that shows maybe uh, some uh, some uh, some some use cases, new use, 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 use cases, uh, which is which is uh, a bit different because here it's a it's a project in in UK um, that uh, is using. Uh, smart lighting technologies and 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 uh, and assets and hardware pieces, but it's con it's more constraints in in train stations. But in terms of use cases and uh, options that we uh, to develop new use cases that might be uh, uh, adapted afterwards for more generic smart lighting slash our city pla uh, projects. So here. <clears throat> uh, oh, also, our platform is used to uh, to communicate with uh, smart uh, smart smart lighting assets um, as well. Different uh, different different solutions, different manufacturers, um, and as well we uh, we are we are gathering data from uh, uh, Wi-Fi sniffers in the in the train stations, um, and uh, we with those data we calculate and. Uh, the positions of the crowd in the train stations, and we display those those positions uh, with anonymized data, obviously, but to <clears throat> to have uh, uh, on the, on the, in real time the the position of, of of the crowd and people in the in train stations, and um, and the idea here is a uh, and is in in this a project that is. Uh, in conjunction with uh, the University of Nottingham as well, uh, and the, the the fact is that um, they they want to uh, to to avoid all the the the, uh, the issues that they have with with people falling uh, uh, on the trains and all the the accidents they have in, in train stations. And so the goal is to secure as, as much as as they can the, the train stations when it's crowded. Uh, in the morning and in the evening, so we have we have a link as well with uh, with our platform with uh, uh, their national platforms that uh, uh, for the wide uh, national platforms that announcing all the trains uh, arrival departure and, uh, and precise timing and the uh, on the in the in the different uh, uh, platforms in in train stations. So. Uh, typically, the, the 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 scenario is that when you have a trains arriving at train stations and on the one platforms, and uh, uh, we have we we play with with the with the light uh, on 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 these platforms, with the intensity, the brightness, but as well with the color of the light. And um, the fact is that when you play with with uh, those those uh, the, the light and then the color and the intensity. You are able to move people from uh, uh, to uh, to and to avoid an adjustment. So that people are are going uh, towards and and toward the the light, the brightness, and 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 this is actually actually following some study from the the and the, the the University of Nottingham, where they they try and they test some scenarios and uh, and see how people are reacting to uh, to those. Um, uh, to those different brightness and color, and this is quite impressive. So um, that way, we what we learn from this uh, from this project are uh, could be used afterwards in a more, I would say, a, a regular project, a small lighting project, and see how we can help cities to uh, uh, to to. To, to better live in the in the in the in the city in the pedestrian areas and where it's crowded and uh, and to attract people to certain areas 
scenarios of, of events, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so, so a bit more in prospective, I would say, <clears throat> but uh, just to show uh, some uh, some uh, uh, some options, possibilities to combine uh, smart lighting and, and, and controlled uh, uh, street lights. Uh, with other types of, of sensors and to compute those data and that have been that data those data even being analyzed here by external uh, platform that analysis platform here with, with the university which uh, which adjust and learn from those uh, feedback and uh, behavior from people so that we adapt uh, uh, in an iteration uh, uh, manner uh the, the the way the platform is 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 is, is working and is is get is get is getting more and more efficient um okay so um i think this is uh, mostly uh yeah what, what i wanted to, to share with you uh, uh today um obviously happy to uh to answer uh, any questions uh uh, that you might have. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jean Pierre. This was really, uh, uh, you know, informative here. Um, again, if you have questions, please type them in the questions box. And uh, I'm going to start here with one question that came in in the beginning, and uh, I think you may have touched on it a little bit, but um, you showed a number of like. Um, the neighborhood area network systems from LoRa to YSUN here. Um, and I don't know if you're typically involved in this, but uh, the question here is how do you select the best uh, local area network technology when starting a project with street lighting? Okay. Um, we. Um, it happens that uh, we 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 uh, we try to be a, a, as much as we can in those project uh, uh, in uh, at the early stage, so that we we push for for uh, uh, standardized solutions or multi-vendor solutions, and typically the long works type of solutions. And, and, and so we, but then there are we I would say we we are not. The, Probably the, the 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 people that are pushing for one uh, technology. Um, we 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 present different options, and different different vendors, and uh, depending as, as well of, of of the context of the project and and uh, the use cases, the scenarios, um, then uh, it's more. It's more that typically one one solutions might fit because there are yeah such a dynamic scenario which is uh, very special and then we know that yeah this manufacturer for example has has this time type of of, of uh, options with with what they they propose and uh, and then obviously then uh, these uh, those guys are using uh, this and this technology or either uh, PIC and works or it could be LoRa it could be so um, and uh, and and then yeah, bottom lines uh, afterwards. Having talked about and 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 and, and uh, checked uh, what are the use cases and uh, constraints and ge ge geographical footprint as well, um, uh, then then the choice of one technology versus another might uh, might cut, might become more clear. Mm, but it, it's difficult to yeah it, it's really combinations of use cases constraints uh is it just a, only a smart lighting project or is it more smart city a lot of different assets and depending on that then the, the the choice for one technology will become more clear uh but it's not a straightforward answer <laughs> yeah yeah, makes sense. And, 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 and not to, uh, I mean, there's a follow-up yeah. question um, which might also be a bit touchy, so you know, I don't know if you want to answer to that. But the follow-up question is: Have you experienced any issues with any of these uh, local area networking technologies? Uh, yeah, for sure. With with all technologies. <laughs> um, um, the issues, I think. Well, there are. There are. 
some technologies are quite uh, are quite uh, uh, poor, but uh, uh, we avoid them, I think. And this is more well, now. There are there are some good technologies. So I think that the technology that uh, that at least we 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 mentioned we 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 push and the, the people are working with the so technology itself works. The 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 now the, the the danger and the difficulty probably uh, arise when you want to use the technology for what is not uh, uh, dedicated. I mean, uh, it's not planned to be used for. Uh, and to, talking about uh, one example, uh, I don't know, uh, LoRa or, or Sigfox, for example. And uh, Sigfox is great. It's nice. I mean, for for some use cases, when you have, it just have a want to have a few data every day for a sensor but obviously no no bidirectional no control so it's fine um then you've got a uh, lora that goes a bit further but uh, some constraints as well then you have uh, obviously i mean long works for and is is great it's fine it's, it's working perfectly uh but there are some constraints as well uh, linked to that so yeah, uh, uh, so um, there are good technologies, and we try to, I mean, to, to push rather for those technologies. But uh, all of them have their have their constraints, and it could be a price as well, a price issue. And uh, if we could, we probably all go for uh, maybe for four G or, but uh, but uh, it's not possible in business wise. I mean, the, uh, to 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 go for um, those technology for every every uh, every right. every aspect and uh, yeah use case. Yeah. Make, makes sense yeah it's probably fair to say that the technologies that you listed in your presentation is <laughs> and there are, are are you know working working reasonably well <laughs> no. okay perfect uh, i think we have time for one more question um and let's see here um is there a list of standard functions a street light typically exhibits uh, so I'm, I'm guessing we're talking about what kind of, uh, you know, control functions there are, probably aside from on and off and fault or something like that. <laughs> yes, and uh, and typically within the, the, the long mark, it is it is rather I mean already defined. I mean that that's that's uh, so the, <clears throat> the the list of I would say. Uh, see if it's variables and the profile for a, a street lights and street light controller um, already exist and uh, and uh, and uh, so it's a couple of uh, of command controls and uh, I will define a, <clears throat> a control programs etc. Uh, this this is defined and somehow standardized yeah already with uh, typically with 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 uh, within a landmark and that, that's which is good because this is what actually to coming back to the previous questions <clears throat> this is where it's mm, sometimes difficult uh, with some field technologies that are supposed to be uh, uh, multi vendor and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, and standardized that's true i mean that's they are standardized and I'm talking about LoRa for example and uh, 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 you have different players, different devices communicating on the same network, but the way uh, to control and to uh, and to retrieve data from uh, uh, the sensor and uh, information, temperature, uh, humidity, or to control uh, uh, the val the level of the street lights, every manufacturer is is having its own payload typically, and uh, it's defining the the way. Uh, he wants to present this this data, which is not at all standardized. So it's uh, yes, sure, it's communicating on the same network, um, but then afterwards, for for people like us dealing with those different uh, assets, uh, uh, it's it's more tricky because you have to uh, uh, to decode the one by one and those uh, right. those variables for for each vendor, and uh, and this is obviously what. Uh, where a uh, standardized body and 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 and, and, and long works on mark is is great because this is actually the value and the, the history of of the, the organizations to already define this kind of uh, of standardization excellent yes that makes that makes sense all right um 
So again, thank you very much, Jean-Pierre, for uh, presenting this today. Um, we're looking forward to, to other webinars. Again, uh, for everybody on the line, the slides and the recording will be posted on our website. And uh, there's also the list of all the uh, upcoming webinars that is posted there. So with that, uh, thank you again uh, for being here. Thanks, Jean-Pierre. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk soon. Thank you very much. Have a great day. and. Uh... Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now. -bye. Bye -bye.